Hi, it's John Sona coming to you, uh, recorded from my bedroom. Um, <laughs> so it's 2016, motherfuckers. <laughs> it's a brand new year, okay? Um, this one has started out uh, a little bit on the rough side. Um, this video is probably going to be kind of long, so. But by the views I see on Johnny Webcam videos that I do, I mean, I must be the most boring person on the face of the earth because uh, nobody watches them. So essentially, I'm probably talking to myself right now. But there's a few people that um, follow John Sona and uh, the music and entity and stuff. So anyway, and I kept saying I was going to do a Johnny Webcam video towards the end of last year and so far this year, but I didn't. But now I finally am. Uh, where to begin? Well, you know, I have immune ish, immune system issues. We'll just put it like that. So I think it's uh, pretty obvious some of the health issues I have that I make, you know, address in my music and whatnot. But, you know, I have to, uh, now it has been going pretty good since I almost kicked the bucket in the summer of 2014. And I've been very, very, uh, you know, diligent in keeping up with my uh, insurance issues and uh, and uh, taking my medications religiously so I can, you know, live. And um, but I always get a little psycho um, before the um, it's once every six months I have to go. It's four months um, is the next one now. But you know, it's like well, there's always a chance that you can become resistant to medications even for no reason even if you take them religiously like I do. And, you know, you just never know. So it's like I get a... <laughs> I don't freak out anymore about death and stuff. But anyway, I had... Um, well, the lab results, you know, as far as my immune system goes, it's uh, it, I got great news for that. So that's good. But uh, other information that was supposed to be on there wasn't because it just seems like nobody can do anything right anymore. You know what I mean? But... Anyway, I have another um, underlying health issue that was made uh, aware to me, is that the right way to put it, to the doctor I used to have when I lived in Indianapolis and um, 10 years ago said that, well, you know, it isn't a big issue for men and, uh, and um, it'll just go away on its own, you have to worry about it. Well, then some, you know, symptom things have been happening to me. In the last like six months and I just chalked it up to something you know whatever not anything major but when I addressed it to my doctor uh, that I have now he said and he's a specialist too he said that uh, um, it, it what it was and that it can cause cancer he used uh, the word cancer and my name in the same sentence which has never been done before and so I asked him I said well is this, uh, do I, you know, do I, you, do I, you can't tell just right now, but without testing and biopsying or whatever they have to do, but, you know, do you think that I have cancer? He said that he didn't think so, but he wants to send me to a specialist. And well, anyway, I went back for my test results a few days ago, and, um, you know, my general, the health is good, and, uh, you know, but the doctor was um, the, the specialist in Indianapolis that he wants to send me to were supposed to call me on the landline at my house here. And well, they didn't, but then I found out that our landline was um, not functioning for what was it, two or three days. Well, that's great. Um, so maybe they've tried, but anyway, he was, he contacted them again and well, it's Monday today and they still haven't called me. So, okay, well, and also, you know, doing some research and stuff, you know, the issue that I have rarely ever causes cancer in men, so it's not really something I have to worry about too much. So I'm not, I was, you know, he said cancer, and all this stemming from the fact that I have just not felt very good physically for the last, like, three months. You know, I thought, I chalked it up at first to being, well, I overdid it last year. I, uh, you know, renovated a house, essentially, for three months. Um, lots and lots of physical work on top of just the 
you know, the work at recording the uh, two albums and all the videos and everything associated with that, which is, you know, it's hard, it's hard work that I don't get paid for. So, you know, so that's been all weighing on my mind so far at the very beginning of this year. So anyway, the specialist still haven't called me, so I'm going to have to take the initiative to deal with that, which is fine. But it's like, you know, it just goes, it just seems like it's such, and, and then, you know, also my, you know, I'm a poor person, unfortunately. So it's like, well, uh, I have to rely on the government for insurance to pay for stuff. The medications I have to take normally are like, what? What, almost $2,000 a month. <laughs> Obviously, I can't afford that. Who could? I have the assisted program in the state that I live in, but, you know, then it expires on the February the 28th, so they're supposed to send me a packet. It was supposed to be here by now, just like the packet they were supposed to send me this time last year when I was dealing with this shit. And um, they were like, well, I called and they said, you should, um, well, if you don't receive the packet they, by the end of January, there's a lot of people. I understand there's a lot of people. Well, then you need to have a system that deals better with dealing with a lot of people because there are too many people and a lot of people in the world on the planet in this country now. So, you know, we'll come up with a system in the fucking 21st century that deals with volumes of people better. And, you know, if um, I'm supposed to get this packet, it's supposed to tell me what to do to make sure that my insurance carries over to the next year which I have to have, if I don't have it, then it's just like, um, then yeah, they take it away from me. They might as well put a loaded gun to my head and pull the trigger. It's the same thing, you know? Anyway, blah, blah, blah. It's just like, everything has to be so, I'm sorry, God, goddamn difficult. You know, it's just like, why? I don't remember hearing about from my elders back in the day when I was young, of them having such issues trying to get medications and doctor's appointments set up and all this shit. Maybe they did and I just didn't know, but, it, you know, it just seems like in this day and age when everything's supposed to be so convenient and easy and whatever, that it's just as constant difficult. I'm not trying to scam. I'm poor and, you know, I need assistance to stay alive because everything costs money. And I'm sorry, everybody goes on about the sanctity of life and all this shit. It's like, well, it shouldn't be. I'm sorry, but the medical industry shouldn't be a for-profit industry, okay? I mean, that could debate could go on and on, too. But anyway, I'm, you know, but a lot of what I'm going to say ties into my record, too. So this will all tie in together. And I'm probably going to say fuck a lot, so you'll just have to deal with it. Um, anyway, you know, my, I feel like shit. I haven't been taking very good care of myself either the last few months, so that probably has a lot to do with it. Um, so I'm going to work on that here soon, but I've just been struggling. It's like I can't get motivated. I've been in this mode, and I've been kind of midlife crisis when this new year came. It was really sad to see 2015 go. It was all in all a really good year, you know? And now this new year is here, and it's just like, oh, that year's gone, and it's one... Usually I'm ready for the prior year to be gone because they're always so disastrous. Or not always, but a lot of times. But 2015 was great and now it's gone. But, I mean, I look back on what I did this time last year. I uh, I was waiting to get this new computer and the new equipment and software to uh, for this entity and the music. And all I was, uh, the last uh, week or so, I've been kind of just watching everything. You know, because you can look at it differently when you're not working on it anymore, and some of it's older. And um, even my first record to Johnny Malignity, to uh, Flowerhead, and all the videos and stuff, it's like, wow, I did really good. I really did. I produced a lot of material. I really improved in so many ways as everything went on. New projects, new projects, and, um, you know, it was a good productive year in many ways. Um... What else? Oh, one more thing, too, which will tie into um, my record, but I got a notice in the mail today. I guess this is what I get for not keeping up on what's going on in the world. Um, I'm getting a new bank card, Visa card, that I make on my purchase with and whatever that's going to have a, uh, a chip in it. It's called a, a e, your e, um, EMV or something. I can't even remember now. Uh, ch computer chip in it 
which is supposed to all cards are going to that by all of it's going to be mandatory and just the ship a computer chip and no more swipe thing by 2017 I guess but supposedly it's, it's supposed to uh, help keep from um, people from hacking your card or is to protect protect against fraud basically is the reasoning for it but anytime there's a computer chip that's mandated by the government because I think that Obama signed the executive order for this to happen I guess I didn't need to do more research on it but anyway and the, the bank told me your card has been compromised so we're okay well first of all uh, maybe are you lying to me because this is something why don't you just tell me this is a mandatory thing that ha that's being done to all credit credit and debit cards why are you telling is my card actually so all that too made me I just miss the days where I'm sure corruption and manipulation has gone on from the beginning of this country in time probably but it's like I miss the days of you know it just turning on if you watch the news it was people like Tom Brokaw and Dan Rather and stuff respectable you know classy class acts telling you and it wasn't 24 7 there's just all this you know news sites and trending things oh what's you know it's just always in your face what's what's going on well maybe I don't want to you know know 24 7 what's going on maybe I want to have I miss those times back in the day where it was just like you know okay let's turn on the six o'clock news and watch Tom Brokaw or whatever and see you know what's going on in the world and then you know <clears throat> go back to life and concentrate on other things um, and not have to look at uh, people's stupid fucking comments and stuff on on all these social media sites and stuff just vile ridiculousness I'm kind of rambling on and on I guess but it's like but it's like well hmm I don't know I just miss I just wish that I had been born 20 years before I was you know I wish that you know for for the more simpler of uh, of the way life was I guess but anyway my record a lot of you know I'm gonna address a lot of this stuff on my record my record a new record is gonna be called full circle which I'm sure you've seen there's the um, the cover you can't hardly see in this crappy webcam and there's the uh, the back cover oh yes and here's the uh, here's the big poster which you probably oh this big you can hardly even see it on here but um oh, there I am boy I had to really manipulate myself digitally to make myself beautiful for this album cover because I looked like shit but um, anyway that's a uh, this is a uh, full circles uh, album cover so my new record well I started uh, working on the music November of last year when I was pretty much you know had had everything released that I wanted to and done for um, Flowerhead um, I started dabbling in music uh, November December I got like by January 1st I had like 70 percent of the primary music done every track has a beginning there's some like I still have four tracks that only have like 45 seconds you know initial bass I'm I'm trying to start working on it again and I have been motivated but I will finish this record but the music's turning out great um, so kind of just go over each track and what it's about I guess like uh, exemplify was my first record it was um, basically my introduction to the world I'm John Sona here I am it was rough around the edges it was kind of crass the emotional parts were you know kind of over the over the top I don't know it was a good record of course I that was the beginnings of realizing that I was gonna have to deal with copyright issues with the loops and which I've be, gone all on and on about forever but you know that was it and then Johnny Malignity that was a that was more of the positive record it was a uh, you know talk about the very first song malignity was a uh, you know don't fuck with me and not take your shit and think the, fuck, the world's fucked up but then led into you know melancholy things and the justice spencer song was on there and and you know some deep stuff about life but then ended on a, you know a happy note 
you know, a positivity, I thought. But then when I recorded Flowerhead, I was, like I said before, I was feeling kind of dark. During the fall, I started feeling dark and, and you know, and reflective. So that's, and I wanted kind of a an R&B slash dancey kind of uh, mixed sound to it. And I made a lot of mistakes on that with volume, but I was dealing with some crappy equipment issues. But um, that was that record. Then it was like, you know, I was thinking when New Year's came, it was just New Year's Eve, it was just like, I wasn't even really excited. I'm like, oh, it's a new year. You know, I should be so grateful to be alive and, and stuff. And I am. And I am blessed in so many ways and thankful for so many things. But, you know, it was just like, well, huh. I'm going to do this as a two-parter. I said two-parter. <laughs> Hold on. Stop. Okay, my back. It was, this is going to be a long video. I may have to beat you parts. Anyway, but I just, it was just like, I don't know, I've been weird. And then all of a sudden, all these health issues came up, potentially, and this cancer thing, which I probably don't have, and now it's like, well, now it's going to be a big fucking three-ring circuits and rigmarole, I guess, to even find out, like everything is, can't just be simple, stressful things. Anyway, but I was just thinking, you know, maybe uh, I've come full circle in this life. Maybe this is all that there's going to be. There's so many things that are just not, even though I am thankful and blessed, thankful for the things I'm blessed with, I am. I swear to God, I swear that I am thankful for all the good things in my life and how I'm lucky in so many ways where so many people aren't. But there are so many things that are still just not acceptable to me or just, you know, causes me discontent okay like being poor like having to be completely reliant right now on a government that i despise you know to for this and that for getting older having limitations with thing with my health and things and stuff but i have the power to change a lot of those things and maybe there's some things will never change and it's like no matter what i do it's kind of what it seems like the theme of my life has been but i was like maybe i've come full circle so that's kind of what this record this record's about Full Circle, the single, is basically, you know, it kind of says, and it's all, a lot of this is on the article I wrote, which um, I'm sure none of you read either, um, about the record, but I was bitchy, wasn't it? Except some, a few people did. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm bitter party one. Um, but um, Full Circle, the single, is basically, you know, saying... I've come full circle, I think, and I'm not, uh, but I'm not going to let fear, I'm not going to be afraid anymore, I'm not going to, you know, blah, blah, blah. Double Trouble is the next uh, track on the record, and it's basically about, you know, some of the, the thoughts that I have. It's like I have an angel on one side and a devil on, other, on the other shoulder, like everybody does. I have to smoke, I'm sorry. I'm getting ready to quit this, by the way. I'm working on it. Working on a lot of health stuff, which I'll talk about after I talk about the record. But um, and it's basically double trouble is like, well, part like the there's a more sort of upbeat part of the music where it's like you know it's kind of the angel part and I mean, but then there's the part about the bad thoughts that go through my head like you know not helping that grandmother across the street or having bad thoughts about people I see at the you know the store and stuff and then the angel part going no you need to not be judgmental so a battle between good and evil in, in my head basically that's what that song's about horny walk is the third track and well if anybody ever to any of you who have paid attention to all the music that i've done since 2013 with the janella jessica show and the anonymous musician and then bypass ratio horny walk was an Anon anonymous musician song that I did for a Janelle and Jessica episode. Terrible quality. It was awful. But I like the song. And um, and I always wanted to redo it. So now that I have better recording equipment and technology, I redid it. Um, and uh, I'm going to redo completely. I did the music so far. And basically, it's just a stupid song. <laughs> but I like it. It's kind of quirky and cute. So... And I have to have, every John Sona record has to have at least one dirty song. It's not going to be as, well, it might be almost as dirty as uh, 
as um, I can't remember the name of my own songs as a synthetic, but it won't be quite as bad as that. But anyway, it'll be my one dirty song. Petey is the fourth track on the record, and it is um, about a friend of mine from years ago who I worked with. He was a musician. He was really small in stature. He had really beautiful brown eyes. And I remember his eyes and his big, long black eyelashes so well. But he was kind of a troubled young man, but I found him very fascinating. He was a very cool person. And I don't know, I just wanted to do a song about him. So, you know, I kind of wanted to mix up the subject matter a little bit on this record. Everything's Been Done is the fifth track. And that song basically refers to how I just saw recently there's going to be a Wonder Woman remake, a movie. It's just like, I even look at entertainment these days, you know, which I've talked about before, and it's like, even years ago I talked about how every movie's a fucking remake. It's like, of something from before. Can anybody come up with something original? Um... I remember I saw District 9, I don't know if you've ever seen that movie, a lot of people didn't like it, but it was it was such an original story, it was so, I mean, I felt so pleased and satisfied when I left from that, from that years ago from the theater, because it was something original, television, it's like, I don't watch TV anymore, at all, you know, and it's just like, the Kardashians, and why the fuck are they famous, first of all, and why, you know, it's like, where's the quality of stuff, it's just like, it's just like, you know, Big Macs for the brain now. It's just making everything. You know what I mean? That's what that song's about. But Out of Touch is the sixth track. It's that's the title of it. And um You know I've become more hermity in the since I moved back to my hometown. It's just like I've tried to go out a few times and stuff couple years ago I still try every once in a while I go out and I just can't stand the public anymore in general it's just people are so I don't know stepfordy and boring and douchebaggy and it's just like I mean a part of it's me getting older and I don't want to go out and drinking all the time anymore which I don't but it's like it's still nice to have some and I don't work anymore you know right now and it's like well I haven't for the last since I was sick uh, a year and a half ago so, but I spend most of my time, I spent most of my time last year when I wasn't, I renovated my family home, but also um, working on music. I mean, I it's a lot of time-consuming work. So it's not like I was, a few times I was a lump. I've been a lump lately, just, you know, a bed potato. But, but I'm out of touch with society. I try to keep up on what's going on on my computer and stuff, but, you know, it's not the same. So that's what that song's about. Um, Event Skeptic is the next track. Well, that's, you know, oh, that's a conspiracy theorist song. But you know what? Is I don't give a shit anymore what anybody believes. If you don't want to believe that there's corruption and suspicion behind so many things, I'm a very skeptical person. I've said that until I'm blue in the face. It's difficult. It's impossible to find 100% truth in anything now. Television, forget it. Mainstream media, nope. Um, it's like, it's half-truths and so much propaganda. Even just the way that the prostitutes, what I call them, those, those you know, those uh, newscasters and stuff act on like MSNBC and Fox News and all, CNN and all of them. I remember thinking that years ago before I finally started to wake up. It was like, why are they acting like this? Everybody's so argumentative and stuff. It just seemed like a trashy reality show to me almost. And, and, um, but, you know, it's very clear to anybody who is willing to open their mind and not, you know, be so dependent upon their worldview for their security to look, which is going to ultimately be everybody, all of our demise, because people are not waking up to the shit that's going on in this world, in this country. A lot of people are now, but, you know, the demonization of so many people, too, that are, you know, trying to... But there's a lot of fucking whack jobs and crackpots on the internet. It's not all, oh my god, it's on the internet, it must be true. No. And a lot of people, you know, I don't consider myself to be a truther. I don't even, I don't put any labels on myself, except that I'm an event skeptic. And, you know, that kind of goes along the lines with, uh, 
you know, this microchip on the cards now, on the debit cards and credit cards. It's like, how do we know? How do we know that we are not being tracked through those things? We don't. We're just going to rely on what the companies and the banks and stuff are telling us. Oh, yeah, banks are really trustworthy, you know. And, but anyway, and just in anything, in anything that mainstream media makes a big, it's like they don't want to report on things. They're making, barely, we'll talk about like the fucking water issues in Flint, Michigan, or the Fukushima poisoning, and the, and the massive amounts of wildlife and ocean life dying all over this planet. And of course, you know, the sky and all that shit. Well, even if it's not chemicals being sprayed in the sky, well, aren't people just a little bit concerned? Because the sky is almost unrecognizable half the time all over the fucking planet. Regardless of what it is. If it's more jet travel, well, you know, jet engines are supposed to be, you know, more eco-friendly and stuff. I thought, well, clearly something's going on up there. So aren't you concerned about it? About your ki For your kids and your grandkids? Because, you know, that's not normal. That can't be healthy, regardless of what it is. So anyway, that's what I've been skeptics about, though, you know. And it's all, but it also is kind of saying, you know, I don't concentrate it 100% anymore, or a lot. I, I can't, because I'll go crazy. Uh, so I'm not a very good activist, but I think it's too late anyway. It's all going to come crashing down at some point in the next 50 to 100 years, I guarantee it. But whatever. Um... But then after that song, and, and it kind of states, I don't really give a shit what, what people think anymore because it's too late anyway kind of thing. That's what a bit skeptic is. Um, oh, I love the music on that one. Um, the Little Things is the next song. That's one I composed. I did use loops on uh, Full Circle. I said I wasn't going to use loops, but um, I, did, I didn't use as many as I did on Flowerhead, but I did use some. There was just some sounds, and I tested some of it on YouTube just as a sound thing to see if I get any master third party content, and it's been alright so far, but there were some sounds, you know, they are basic that I put together, but they were just perfect for, you know, what I wanted the sound to be for the subject matter of the track, and so I used them, but the little things, I composed that 100% myself, and um, it's not done yet, but it's, um, it's basically about, and I thought it was perfect after Event Skeptic, since the world is fucked up and there's all this deception, that the most important thing is to pay attention to the little things like, you know, getting up in the morning and those times when you see your cats looking out the window at a bird in the morning sunlight or, or you know, just waking up in the morning and in your warm, cozy bed and just having that moment of peace or, you know, stuff like that. And I do, I, God, I pay attention to the little things because they are so important. And that's what that song's about, you know, smelling, walking in the park and smelling that flower. You know, there is still some beauty on this planet, even though we're just, as a whole, massively destroying it. But anyway, the next song track is called Jetliner. Everybody by now who knows me knows I have a passion for jet airplanes. I have since I was a kid, in large part because my dad worked for the major airline when I lived in Seattle growing up. But um, I do, but the song addresses that. It's kind of a sad song, actually. But it also addresses the fact that airplanes are just being used for such evil and and the, the airline industry and travel now is just a nightmare and just disgusting as compared to how it was when I grew up with the security and the feeling like you're a criminal just, you know, being raped by the TSA and all that stuff. So that song's about Shine On Me is another remake. Um, that's the next track. It, um... put this damn thing out. I can't wait until I'm back on electronic again and not very much. I've got so much work to do with my health, but oh, my pillow fell. Anyway, um, Shine On Me was a song by Bypass Ratio that I did two weeks before I went in the hospital in 2014 in June and almost died. Um, that song has always had a weird by, you know, meaning to me now, because that was the last song that I did before that experience. That experience was not one of the most significant in my life either. It was weird. You know, a lot of people that are that close to death, and I was, have these spiritual things that happen and, you know, and stuff, and I didn't have anything. It was just like, it was the most monotone, you know, sterile, bizarre 
experience I ever went through that's, you know, supposedly so important, but I had to remake that song because I love that song. It's so simple. It's, uh, it's just great. The music, to, the music was difficult to, I wanted it to be very close to the original, even though the original version is crappy quality because the crappy equipment I had to use, but that's a great song. It has kind of a Latin Spanish feel to it, and I did really good on recreating the music, and it sounds great. The next track, second to last, is called Grow. Um, when I was coming up with the titles and the outline for the record, before any music even happened, I was, you know, I'm like, well, I'll just throw that in there, and, um, but I didn't have, I didn't have any subject for it yet. I thought, well, maybe since it's after Shine On Me and Bathe Me In Love, you know, in the meadow and all that stuff is what Shine On Me's lyrics are, I would have something about, like, plant, I was fascinated by planting, you put a seed in the ground and it grows, but then a friend of mine named Megan, named Meg, um, who um, doesn't live here anymore, but we're friends on Facebook, and she was uh, posting about how somebody was being really mean and rude to her. And it really made me angry. And then all of a sudden, I had this vision in my head of uh, us dancing like this tango in this big hall with candles, kind of like a Disney movie. And she was in a red dress with the rose in her mouth, and I was in a tux and my blonde hair, and we were dancing, whatever. So I just wanted to do a song about her. And, the, and that, you know, Im, image that I had in my head. So that's kind of what that song's going to be. It's also kind of Latin, Spanish theme. And the last song is Brand New Year. Um, it's, uh, I used the music for that in the new, um, um, what did I use it for? <laughs> um, what video was it? Oh, damn it. My, see, I am getting old. My brain. <clears throat> All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna stop and do a part three. And then, I'll... am I back? Yes. Anyway, um, what did I use the brand new year music for? I can't remember. Anyway, I used it for one of my promotional videos. Um, was it the follow me? I think it was. It. I did. I used it for the new um, subscribe video for my YouTube channel. God, John Sona. Anyway, um, but it was going to be, I was supposed, I wanted to have um, that, the lyrics done and the vocal done for that, and I was going to release that by this time I wanted it released, but then I had this, you know, possible cancer scared and stuff, and and I was just not feeling motivated, so that's not going to be till February. That'll be the first official single release and video release before the, probably it'll be two months before the record's done. Anyway, so that's my record. Um, and uh, I just got to work on it. I will, I will get the motivation. I will, and I'll, and I, because I am going to finish this record no matter what happens. And, uh, you know, make the plans for it and really dive into it. But I don't feel very inspired right now by anything. Um, I feel irritated and I'm just, I'm fat again. It's like, so I know what I have to do is I have to kick myself in the ass and go, okay, you don't feel good. So stop smoking and stop, you know, eating crappy food. Okay. And exercise. Got it. Going to, I'm going to take some, uh, I'm researching some fat burning muscle things that like the stars use too but I got to make sure that it's not gonna you know make me stroke out or or you know interact with medications I'm going to when it starts to get warm I'm gonna start walking six days a week I'm gonna get up in the morning and I'm gonna walk I'd like to walk you know like five, five miles or something around the park like three four times that'll you know get the fat off of me and, I'll, and I can work on all that but you know the world just seems to be getting more and more annoying, but I'm just going to have to deal with that. What other choice do I have? Um, but I don't feel motivated right now. And I have to kick, I, you know, it's the winter too, it's hard, but I got to kick myself in the ass and not make any more excuses and stuff. I know all this stuff. Not stupid, okay? <laughs>
I may be stubborn and I may get lazy sometimes or I may get emotionally weird sometimes, but I'm not crazy and I'm not stupid by any means. So I will get this record done. I'm excited. I am excited about the record. The music's turning out great. And, you know, it's just, it's a great project, but I just got to get into gear. I got to force myself. And sometimes it's difficult. So anyway, is there anything else? Um, iJohnSona.com it has been uh, redesigned. Most of my websites have been redesigned some way or another. So if you want to check that out, you can. Um, what do I videos I had out? I had up the new subscribe video, and I did my first promotional video for Full Circle, which turned out good with the uh, little fetuses and stuff. <laughs> um, look at me. My skin looks terrible. <laughs> I can see myself when I'm recording this, so I'm being judgmental. Um, and, um, I wrote, I did an article for the record called Full Circle Interview that was addressing, you know, some of my health issues and stuff, too. It's a two-part interview, um, like a magazine article, kind of. So, that's on, um, johnsonacenter.blogspot.com and on my Facebook page. If you scroll down, you can check that out, read about my new record. And, uh, oh, um... 4x4 four four management. Remember, I went on and on about that. Well, you know, I made this whole web page and this submission page for them in this video, but I didn't send. I didn't feel comfortable sending it sending it to them yet in December. And then January, I'm like, I wasn't sure if I was, you know, getting sick again or not, or had cancer or whatever. And so I just didn't. I'm like, well, let's wait, and see, find out some more stuff about that. Well, I, you know, I sent Aramidic to them. It was that's how I found out about them is that Reverb Nation gives you these contests and stuff to enter. And well, they I got a couple days ago a message saying that they weren't interested. So, but if I was interested in paying for you know promotion for whatever, well I I, can, I don't have enough money. <laughs> the whole point was you know for you to help me. But I'll still look into it and see how much it costs. But honestly, I don't know. I don't know. Full Circle may be my last record. I'm just like, I don't know, maybe, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life, and maybe I'll just, after this record, I'll just uh, become a vegetable, or, and get old, or maybe, you know, I'll join a monastery, or maybe I'll really try to pursue something, but I've done all that, I just can't, I can't get anybody to help me, and I don't have thousands of dollars to spend on promotion, so it's just like I'm stuck. I'm always stuck, you know. I try not to be stuck. I try to make good decisions for my life, and it just always either just will not work out or blows up in my face. So I don't know. A, a large part of this is for me, but, you know, and a self-satisfaction, and I'm doing something artistically. And I, I am totally, you know, proud of myself and appreciative for that, just for that alone. But I don't make this music... For me to listen to, just me to listen to, you know? It's like, why can't I get, and I get new fans here and there, but it's just like, I mean, do I suck? Am I really that bizarre in my work? Because I don't think so. It has something to do with me and a lesson I'm supposed to learn in this life, I think. You know, but I'm just, I'm so fucking tired of working so hard on something, on things and projects. It goes the same for paintings and stuff too. It was like that. And just, and having, you know, it's, you, I mean, I know people have, but do, people have lives and stuff, but it's like, does anybody listen to music anymore? Or is it just me? People won't accept me in that role or just don't give a shit about anything I do. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm just, I'm really, I'm disconcerted to a certain extent. I don't, and I don't know if it's, if nobody is going to listen to my music, you don't even have to watch the videos, you know, whatever, but, you know, or, and it's not everybody's cup of tea, like I said, but anybody that has an open mind and just likes to listen to music, but doesn't even care about lyrics or whatever subject matter, it's like, is there just too many people? Is there just too much oversaturation? Or is it just me? Is it because I can't get it out there? Like I should be able to, because I don't, because I need a management company to promote me or whatever. 
And do I even want to with how disgusting, you know, the general public is? Not everybody is terrible, but, you know. Do I even want to pursue this anymore as having, you know, it be more out there accessible to people? I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, that's about it, I think. Uh, the plans for this, depending on what bullshit I have to deal with with my health insurance and, and you know, trying to see this damn specialist in Indianapolis. Um, a brand new year is going to be the first official single, lyrical single, and video. I'm going to try to have that done by mid to mid February and then I'm gonna fit I gotta finish up the record I still only have a fourth of the lyrics written I haven't sang anything it's like not even all the music done yet so I have a lot of work to do which I could if I really you know I want to take my time in the record but I still want it to be done by the spring so it's like excuse me <laughs> but um anyway that will be the first and then full circle once that record is done right before I release it full circle will be the second lyrical um, single official single released with video and then um, I've, I don't really have an outline yet for what else will be released and when I want to do a video for PD I want to do a video for double trouble I think um, and shine on me I'm not sure the little things I definitely want to do a video for that so I usually do two or three videos I'd like to do at least four music videos for this record and make them really good so we'll see and um, as far as management companies and stuff I just can't even think about that right now I don't I'm I don't know <laughs> right now I just got to concentrate on staying you know alive I guess and um, and not going crazy from all the bullshit in the world. So that's it. Um, when I'll of course post all over the place when the record is released, and you know, just any of you with an open mind that listen to music and have you know more than just one specific taste in music. Just listen to it. I'm not even asking for money, you know. But I can see how many times stuff has been watched and listened to on all the sites that I'm on. So it's like I know. And then there's I hear people, oh, yeah, I've checked out, you know, this and I really liked it. Well, push the like button. If you have a YouTube channel, subscribe. I mean, that's not, you know, a lot of people don't have YouTube channels. But push the like button. And it's like, well... Once I listen to it, well, just go back arrow on your computer and push that like button. Please, please. It it means so much to me. It does so much to even just see a few of those likes. That means that somebody is appreciating the art that I do, that I work so hard on. Now, if it's like, I said hard on. <laughs> you know, some of the song, my songs are, are really hypersexual. Well... Don't like those if you don't like them. But, I mean, I do have a lot of ballads. I have, you know, a lot of songs that are not in your face. It's like, I don't know. It's just, I just want some recognition. If, if I'm never, ever going to make a dime from anything I do, which is kind of looking that way in this life, at least, I could, you know, there could be some word of mouth from people. Oh, listen to my friend or listen to this person. Um, music, it's kind of cool. You know, there's a lot of musicians and people and things that are way better than I am and more talented. That's fine. But I was what I I'm still really good. I don't know hardly anybody that I know personally that can record a studio album and you know make relatively high quality videos. They're very difficult. It's all very very difficult to do. You know, it's like. I don't know. I just want, I just want some recognition. Recognition. I just want even if I, I the work to be recognized, you know, or at least to just be listened to. I don't know. Anyway, um, this is a three-part video. I'll probably put it all together 
um, on YouTube. It'll probably take me like 25,000 hours just to get this put together for to be able to watch. But anyway, that's about it. So 2016, kind of off to a rough start. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen in the world? Who knows what's going to happen in my own life? But either way, I am going to get into gear. I am going to start taking better care of myself physically. And I am going to finish this record and do everything that's, you know, that I do with records. Releasing singles and, and um, making the videos for it and let it run its course. And then after that, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with my life, but I'll keep you posted. And uh, if I do end up retiring John Sona, the brand, and the entity, then, um, you know, I'll make a big announcement for that, and then you just won't see me anymore. So, anyway, that's all. All right, everybody, peace, love, and light. You know, don't let all the evil corruption totally take over your souls and brains. Try to love each other and respect each other, and, you know, no matter who. What, you know, have... You have to have a, a wondering eye. You have to be a little bit suspicious of everybody. Um, you know, watch your back in this day and age. But it doesn't mean you have to be completely paranoid and full of hate. You know? So, and, uh, it's difficult to find 100% accurate information on the internet, too. But don't just believe everything you see on TV. Do some research. Take a break once in a while, especially if you have kids. You know, that's all I'm saying. Anyway, so peace, love, and light. Take care of each other, and uh, I'll uh, post any new stuff that's going on. And brand new year single and video should be the next thing released here in about three weeks. So that's it. Stop. Happy New Year.